I was very scared first to hold the rat like this. <laughs> Will I manage to wake this rat? These rats are going to eat my ears, my friend. <laughs> We need to make the world a safe and better place to live. I'm doing this job from my deep of my heart. We start working early in the morning from six o'clock. Why we start working early in the morning? Because um, these rats don't like to work under the sun. Loading the rat in the transport cages ready to go to the minefield. When I came here, trust me, I was very scared first to hold the rod like this. Ah. I said, can I, will I manage to wake with the rod? Eh? I found people playing with the rod, putting rod like this. I said, wow. <laughs> These rods are going to eat my ears, my friend. <laughs> na baadhi wanapenda na wao waweze kufanya kama mimi lakini wengine ah unawezaje unaogopa <laughs> naombia panya ni rafiki kabisa wamekuwa rafiki nikaambia ukiwafundisha panya ni rafiki na ukiwapenda kazi yangu nawachukua naweka dume na jike panya dume na jike kwa ajili ili waweze kuzaa baada ya wiki tano kuzaliwa huwa nawachukua na zoesha urafiki na binadamu these animal can never been a pet before now, why we socialize? We socialize them to create friendship, to create social environment. I mean, I need to trust the animal. I need to trust the rat. But the rat should also trust me that I am a very, very good friend. These giant African pouched rats collect food in their pouches 
and then store it in underground burrows to find it later on based on their olfactory sense, on their sense of smell. And this searching for objects hidden underground is of course something which is, is really close to the landmine detection task. The Hanusser rat. And uh, put on their legs a rope so that that rope will, will be leading the rat to go. They have uh, tape measures. They'll put in a box of uh, 100 square meters. They step from 0 to 50 centimeters. 50 centimeters, 50 centimeters, until they finish 100 square meters. They will be working in zigzag, but uh, following the tape measures measurement, some of the boxes have landmine, but some of them don't have landmine. This is because of the training procedures. Now, this African giant poacher rat nicknamed the uh, hero rat. When they are approaching the area that uh, have uh, a smell of TNT, where there is mine, some can groom before scratching, some can start sniffing on the air, and then start scratching. Those are just behaviors of the rat. Of course, they have something to tell to the trainer. Here there is something, you know. Now, because there is uh, science in these training boxes, the trainer will know, yes, the rat is correct, there is mine. And then the trainer will activate the clicker, telling the rat that what you have been doing, you are correct. Please stop what you are doing, come back for your reward. The accuracy of this rat is very good. The beauty of Apopo is that we train wherever we go national people to become experts in this detection rats technology and that creates jobs and that solves at once several problems, social, economic, it builds peace, it builds public health and it simply provides equal economic opportunities. Yisifu kwa kazi yetu nzuri waliotenda banya kwa kusevu maisha ya wenzetu. Manake mwanzoni alikuwa hawezi kufanya shughuli zozote za kiuchumi pamoja na za kimaendeleo kutokana na mabomu. I'm doing this job from my deep of my heart. To save someone's life is a prestige. Life is only once. If you get it, you get it. If you lose it, you lose it. <laughs>